The Philippine Navy's new 124-meter landing platform dock is a class of two ships being constructed by PT PAL Indonesia for the Navy's landing dock acquisition project. The class is an improvement on the previously commissioned Tarlac class which was also constructed by PT PAL. The ships are being acquired as part of Horizon 2 of the revised AFP modernization program which was set to cover the period of 2018 to 2022. The ship class has yet to be named. The steel cutting ceremony of the first ship was conducted on the 10th of August 2023. The Philippine Navy included plans to procure two new landing platform docks as part of its horizon to modernization phase. With the proposal with a budget of 5.56 billion Philippine pesos among those approved in principle by former Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte in June 2018. This would allow the Philippine Navy to increase its sea lift and amphibious assault capabilities to reach its planned overall capability. The Philippines Department of National Defense signed a contract with Indonesian shipbuilder PT PAL Indonesia on the 24th of June 2022. With the shipbuilder delivering a variant of their improved 123 meter strategic sea lift vessel Tarlac class design. According to the technical specifications released, as part of the project's tender documents, the ship will have improvements over the current Tarlac class landing platform docks, despite both classes originating from a similar base design. The improvements were formulated based on the Philippine Navy's experience in operating the Tarlac class and knowing its strengths and shortcomings. The ships are equipped with a variety of weapons and sensors, including a 76mm Oto Malara, 76mm Super Rapid Naval Gun. The OTO Malara 76mm gun is a naval autocannon built and designed by the Italian defense company OTO Malara. The system is compact enough to be installed on relatively small warships. Its high rate of fire and the availability of several types of ammunition make it capable of short-range anti-missile point defense, anti-aircraft, anti-surface, and ground support. Ammunition includes armor piercing, incendiary, directed fragmentation effects, and a guided round marketed as capable of destroying maneuvering anti-ship missiles. It can be installed in a stealth cupola. It can fire 85 to 120 rounds per minute with a maximum firing range of 16,000 meters. The secondary gun, it's either to 30 millimeters a Selsun Smash secondary guns. The Smash is a type of remote controlled weapon station manufactured by a Selsun of Turkey. The system is fitted with a 30mm MK44 Bushmaster 2 auto cannon. The weapon is mounted on a stabilized pedestal mounting, which allows it to remain on target as the platform beneath it moves. It can fire 200 rounds per minute with an effective firing range of 5,100 meters. Another option will be the Aselsan Gokhtnis, a 35mm dual barrel close in weapon system developed by Aselsan. Each Gokhtnis platform carries a variant of Orlikon 35mm twin cannon with airburst ammunition that is all-weather capable. The cannons fire 1,100 rounds per minute. With an effective firing range of 4,000 meters with a 35mm airburst round and high-explosive incendiary ammunition, PT PAL confirmed and released proposals that their submitted landing dock design allows for a 76mm main gun on the foredeck to stern-facing 30mm secondary guns will also be fitted, one each on the port and starboard sides. The weapon systems are supposed to be installed separately by the Philippine Navy after delivery. Taking the specification of Tarlac class LP DIS as the standard, each of the new ships will have a 124 meter length, 21.8 meter beam, and 7,200 ton standard or 11,583 tons full load displacements. Each ship will be powered by two 3,915 bhp to 1,920 kilowatts diesel engines and able to reach a maximum speed of 16 knots, as well as 9,360 nautical miles. 17,334.7 kilometers range with 30-day endurance under a cruise speed of 13 knots. Each ship will be able to carry and operate to medium-sized landing craft at their floatable lower decks and to rigid hull inflatable boats or small landing craft on boat davits. Originally, the ships were designed to accommodate to medium-sized 10-ton helicopters on the flight deck and one similar-sized helicopter on the hangar. With the specifications emphasizing the US-made Sikorsky Black Hawk and Italian-made Augusta Westland AW139 helicopter as basis. 
but changes in the Philippine Navy's requirement, later on changed the design to have a hangar for one medium 10-ton helicopter, and a flight deck for two medium 10-ton helicopters. The first landing platform dock officially started its construction on the 10th of August 2023, where a first steel cutting ceremony was held in PT Pals facility in Surabaya, Indonesia, while the second landing platform dock officially started its construction on the 22nd of January 2024. It is expected that the ship would be completed by 2024 and delivered to the Philippine Navy by 2025. This is part of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program specifically in the Philippine Navy, Modern and Multi-Capable Navy, by 2028. By 2028, the Offshore Combat Force is expected to have 8 to 9 more ships, a 100% increase in assets, added to its command. All of them come from South Korea. Hyundai Heavy Industries won contracts to construct the next batch of modern warships for the Philippine Navy in 2021 and 2022. In total, HHI is to deliver to Corvettes by 2026 and 6 OPVS by 2028. An additional Pohang class Corvette is also slated to be transferred to the Philippines as confirmed by Philippine officials, although this is in question as the transfer was supposed to take place in 2022. Alongside ReHorizon 3, the new comprehensive archipelagic defense concept put forward by Philippine defense officials brings an increased emphasis on naval and air forces for the defense of the country. In this strategy, the traditionally internally focused AFP is envisioned operating offshore in the EEZ and beyond. The Philippine Navy's missions include patrols from the EEZ to the internal waterways of the 7,641 island country. Moreover, with an external threat from China, the force is looking to acquire high-end anti-air and submarine warfare capabilities. Donations from the U.S. include three Hamilton-class cutters and three Cyclone patrol ships. These patrol vessels frequently patrol the South China Sea and waters around Mindanao. An additional for patrol vessels, to protect her, and two island-class patrol boats were eyed for transfer to the Philippines pending congressional notification requirements. Initially, the Philippines wanted to build its military to a point where it had a minimum credible defense posture. Key components of this posture are described as maritime domain awareness and maritime security. What this translates into is providing the PN with the capabilities to know what is going on in the Philippines' maritime area of interest, then giving it the capabilities to protect Philippine interests and finally to deter hostile actors. The current President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. on Friday pledged to provide full support for the Philippine Navy's modernization of assets and enhancement of defense capabilities. Marcos said he looks forward to the completion of the Horizon 3 of the Armed Forces of the Philippines modernization, which is significantly devoted to the naval aspect of the country's military operations. This is as he lauded the PN personnel for their efforts to defend the sovereignty of and maintain peace in the Philippines. That's it for today. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more military technology updates.